Hello, Carolyn Rasmussen here. I wanted to show you one of my absolute favorite tools, the Rapid Prep Mandolin. This is not like your traditional mandolin. As you can tell, it um, doesn't look exactly like a regular mandolin and you won't be moving the food across it. So I wanted to show you how it's easily used to make uh, like julienne or, or matchsticks, how to make French fries, how to do super thin like potato chip thin slices or how to do thick slices like if you were to do a tomato. I'm gonna to do all of that with a potato, a bell pepper and an onion and then I'm gonna make hash browns for breakfast. So here we go. Let me jump in here and show you some of the features. So as you can see, it's got a hopper for the um, food or um, a food bin. It's got um, a regular hopper here in the front that um, comes off as well. And that would be put there and then this folds in, this locks down, that closes. So for storage, that snaps on. So there, everything is contained in the one thing. So let's break this bad boy out and get it going. So on the back, you'll notice there are two knobs. This knob is for if you want slices, matchsticks, or French fry cut. And this is for thickness, everything from super thin all the way to super thick. And then it has on here, uh, markings. This would be for French fry cut, so it matches the same thickness as this French fry cut. So you've got both this way and this way, if that makes sense. And then right here, there's another one, if you can see it, that's for matchsticks so that they're perfectly cubed in the strips, right? Does that make sense? So you would just turn the knobs. We're going to first start with um, all the way around to like a super thin um, I, I did some, yeah, I already did some potatoes. So now they're caught in there. I didn't clean them out and they're making it hard to move it. So anyway, um, it comes with this awesome cleaning tool. It's our dual sided brush and I love it. So let me quickly get that <coughs> one little potato thing out of there. Okay. So, um, I'm going to put this on super super thin right here a one you can see i've got it on a one right there and then i'm doing it on a slice so all the way oops all the way around the other way so it's on the slice it's solid see that one's solid that one's got tiny uh grid and that one's got a big grid it's really hard to see on the camera okay so let's slice our potato there's a little niche on that tray and we stick this on here. And I'm gonna put my potato in here and watch, I'm gonna do super thin. And it's gonna come in this hopper down here. I wish the camera would catch up with me over here. It's got suction cups on the bottom, so you can hear the suction cups attaching to the counter. So here we go, watch the back side. So here is super thin potatoes. There we go, super thin. Okay, so then if you wanted to do, say, like a tomato, we will uh, leave it on a slice, but I'm going to turn the knob all the way to the eight there. And this is like if you were doing tomatoes for a, a cook, like a, a hamburger cookout, right? There we go, thick potatoes. And of course we got everything in between, right? So we could do everything in between. And then what if we wanted to do hash browns or we wanted to do um, matchsticks, like with carrots, like the super thin. So I'm gonna turn the knobs over to the four where it's got the hash mark and to the thin strips. And here we go. So check this out. Now we have strips. You see that? So this is just like the matchsticks. Imagine instead of for your salads, if you want carrots, instead of buying the pre-packaged already sliced up carrots, you can do it yourself and save a lot of money. And now here we go. French fries, homemade French fries, and you can do sweet potato fries too. So that's awesome because I love sweet potato fries. And a lot of times they're too hard 
for most slicers to do. So here we go. So check it out. Now I have french fries. And let's compare. Here's the matchsticks. You guys see the difference? How awesome is that? So let me finish these up. And then look, this is another cool thing. So if I want to dice them, let me grab a handful. I've got a handful here of the French fry cut, okay? And I'm going to stand them on end back in my chute. Okay, just like that. So see, I have stacked them up in here. You can see right here how they're stacked up. Okay. So now, they're getting all mixed in with the others, but you get the idea. I've diced my potatoes. Super cool, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna grab everything I have here and I'm gonna shove it all back in the hopper because some things are sliced, some, some things are Julie and their matchsticks and some things are the other stuff. So since I'm making hash browns, I want to get them all cut up kind of small for the pan. So, Putting it all in the hopper. Here we go. Get the rest of it. Oops. Because I want the, the, the small little cubes for my hash browns, like you sometimes get at restaurants. And I've still got it set on the uh, fridge press setting. Seems like I got something stuck in here on the side. Okay. There we go. Now, a couple of them got turned around, so I'm going to shove those back in. Okay, so now, you guys can tell, I have all chopped up potatoes. I'm going to put them here with the other potatoes I did just before we went on. And then I, you know, what's hash browns without a little bit of onion and a little bit of bell pepper, right? So let's grab this onion. And I just got a little slice of an onion here, okay? And I'm gonna leave this on the French fry cut. I'm gonna put this wheel in like this. Make this work. They're getting kind of, some of them are long, some of them are out. Depends on how the layers of the onion hit. But I'm going to put them back in here again. And now I have diced onions. See? Awesome. So I'm going to dump that out. Right in there. And then bell pepper. Okay? So here's a, a portion of a bell pepper. And I'm going to start off with the strips. There we go. And uh, honestly, they're pretty good as they are, but I'm going to grab them all. Here, I'll show you. They're kind of on the long side. Oops, I throw it on the floor. So I'm going to put it all back in here. Just like that. I'm stalling that French press on Yep, keep on and check it out. Now I have diced peppers. So I'm going to get all of this, my potatoes, my onions, and my bell peppers all into my little plastic cup here. Because now I'm ready to make hash browns. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. They're a little sticky from the potato and the onion. And let's move over here and make hash browns, or at least get them started, okay? Make sure that the camera catches this. Turn on my stove and start getting this preheated a little bit. Now I need about medium high. And um, this is the stainless steel nonstick. Okay, you guys can see how it's got like a hex pattern on it. That means that there's enough stainless steel still showing that it's going to give it a nice browning effect, 
but it's a bit non-stick so that it's not a pain in the butt to clean and it will um, be easier to stir everything up. But I still get the brown fawn and the brown um, bits in the bottom. If you want to make gravies, you want to sear your meat, fantastic. It's really great, but it's mostly non-stick. So you get the best of both worlds without um, uh, losing all the properties of the stainless, just the ones that are not so fun. So I'm going to use my um, oil and vinegar dispenser. And you'll notice that it's got a reservoir on top. And the markings on top up here, I don't know if you can see it very good at the camera, are one teaspoon, two teaspoons, and three teaspoons, which is a tablespoon. And every squeeze is a teaspoon. So now I've got three teaspoons or a tablespoon of olive oil ready to go. And I'm gonna drizzle it in my pan. I don't guess anymore. Used to, I would just kind of pour a little bit in there and not really pay attention, but nope, not anymore. I actually measure it. And then this sits right by my stove and I have another one for um, vegetable oil. And I've got another one coming because I'm going to put avocado oil in the other one. These I can tell the difference because they're color, but we'll see if the avocado oils get going to get confusing or I'll, and I'll have to label it or what, but I love those. And I just have them always sitting there. Now when I cook, I've got the perfect amount ready to go. Okay. We're letting this get heated up a little bit and uh, turn this a little bit more this way so you guys can see. And then I've got my mix and scraper right here. Okay. I'm going to kind of mix this up a little bit because I've got the peppers in the bottom, the onions kind of separated out. So I want to kind of stir it all up. So it's all mixed together with all the potatoes, but check that out. Isn't that awesome? all with that rapid prep. And then all I have to do now is toss it in the pan. And I'm gonna let it sit and not, I'm gonna spread it all out and then let it sit. I'm not going to stir it around a lot because I want it to start browning. All the goodness out here. So I'm just going to lay this out with that little bit of olive oil that's down there and let this brown up and then I'll toss it and let it brown the other side. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if I can help you. Um, this rapid prep is um, $70, but you could get it half the price by hosting your own party. But $70 is nothing when you consider how much you'll save on uh, pre-prepped um, vegetables and, and other items. The, how much time it'll save you in the kitchen. The other cool thing is because you're not running the, your hands across the blade with the food. And let me tell you how many of my customers have actually assumed that they can do it without the holder because they're faster than the holder. You're not. So I have a lot of customers that wind up saying, yep, yeah, cut my finger on the mantle. And just like you said, this, you can't do that because you've got all of the space in here between you and the blade and you're moving the blade across the food. So safe for your kids. So now you can invite your kids into the kitchen, get them excited about helping you, and have them help prep. Trust me, kids will love this because it's a gadget, right? And um, everything is dishwasher safe, but I just usually take it apart and just hand wash it. It's not that hard. So I'll just take this and take it over the sink and I'll wash it and I'll use the uh, dual-sided cleaning brush that comes with it. So this is also sold separately. This is my favorite, favorite tool in the sink um, for cleaning because this has got kind of like a toothbrush, but it's more, um, what do you call the word? They're, they're stiffer bristles and then you got this to scrape on the other side. So this is great. So anyway, I will just hand wash it here, let it dry and we're good to go. So you guys have an amazing Saturday and on this uh, month of October, you guys can get stoneware for 60% off when you host your own party. And it's on sale, I believe 25% off for everybody. So come on October, it's Heritage Month. Pampered Chef is celebrating 42 years. Unbelievable. So you guys have an amazing Saturday and we'll talk to you later.